Now it's time for our weekly visit to Fed Farmers HQ and Bees spokesman John Hartnell is on the line from Wellington. So John, what's the latest on Varroa? Varroa is a, a nasty little beast and it's been quietly moving from the North Canary base where it's established itself earlier in the year and now it's just gently spreading out from that area. We've heard rumours of uh, Varroa now in the Clinchy area in Canterbury and we're aware that beekeepers have moved outside of the known area, so the expectation is that the varroas move with them. Obviously, from the South Island perspective, we were disappointed when Biosecurity elected not to eradicate varroa in Nelson in 2006. We've moved on, um, but we've learned some lessons from it, and I think that's the important thing. There are other, other uh, biosecurity risks for the bee industry out there, and we're very conscious that we need to make sure that we deal with those swiftly if an incursion happens in the future. Well, the key thing is that the bees are still out there trying to uh, source nectar from, from the floral sources that are in the pastures. Obviously the clover now is, is dying away. We had a fairly poor season as far as the greater Canterbury region is concerned. Um, the, the weather was very dry and even though we got the rain just prior to Christmas it wasn't sufficient to save uh, the, the honey crop for many beekeepers. But the, the key thing from a farmer at the moment is to ensure that if he's out there spraying paddocks and, and uh, spraying uh, gorse or um, not so much gorse today but certainly the riverside florals and, and areas like that, that the bee activity is not on those floral sources as he's working in those areas. We had a, we had a big year this year, the, probably the largest pollination year, for, I'm now talking on a South Island basis, for the South Island. We had a lot of work to do in the small seed sector. There was uh, blackberry and a lot of new crops for uh, that are coming out of Lincoln College for pollination. Uh, we also had vast areas of oilseed rape being planted. Uh, from all, from all uh, reports so far, as far as small seed goes, I think they're very happy with the seed set. There were some concerns early on. The oilseed rape, I think there's a lot of lessons being learnt by, by those guys putting that in and they've probably had a few challenges, but I'm sure that they'll continue on and we'll see further work to be done in that area for pollination. Yes, I think so. I mean, uh, a lot of it's coordinated through the seed companies now. They, and we have a situation in Canterbury where one of our seed companies uh, actually owns their own apiary now, so they're very conscious and they've made an investment in that area to secure their pollination on an ongoing basis. I think talking to, uh, we had a regional roundup last night, and talking to all those beekeepers, I think the crop from a South Island perspective would be in the light to, to average. Uh, in the North Island they have had a very poor manuka crop and manuka is now one of the major floral sources that are chased by the uh, North Island beekeeper. So that's well down, though I understand the area in the Waikato has, has uh, been very good and the guys are producing some good Waikato clover coming in out of that area. So in all I think we're probably across the country seeing just below what would be a normal average season. The wasps have appeared and certainly in the, in the Canterbury beach for us there are more wasps than bees now and uh, we're getting a situation where when you look at a beech tree they're, they're coated with yellow wasps everywhere so we, this year we have a real uh, epidemic of wasp problems and they are extremely aggressive to the beehive. They actually go in and rip the bees off the, off the floorboard and actually take them away and eat them so that they are actually quite able to destroy a, a very strong beehive if the beekeeper can't put some form of protection in the entrance for the bees. Absolutely, we have attempted uh, as a group to have uh, bees on every site in the 27 farms throughout the country. The, obviously the goal was to increase awareness. For kids it's a wonderful opportunity to talk to a beekeeper, they, they're fascinated by bees and of course the bee plays a huge part in, in, in the New Zealand economy from the food, food base. We're involved in uh, produce obviously the honey side but the pollination side is huge and the billions of dollars when you take in kiwi fruit, stone fruit, pip fruit and of course the pollination of uh, grassland clovers for regeneration of nitrogen in the high country areas. <laughs>